For the second part of this introduction, I want to take a look at the way in which the CRAM tool can be used to estimate the learning experience of a design. I'm going to start by creating a new module, and I've already entered some information about the tutor group size, the number of hours, and the number of weeks. What I'm looking at here is a fairly traditional course, maybe for a first year, where we have a lot of students, some from overseas, but mainly from home. And what I'm going to do is add some teaching and learning activities. So to do that, I'm going to start from scratch and put in a fairly traditional learning activity, which is attending a lecture. This is almost all acquisition, and it will be the same for all. The tutor is present, but there's no student feedback. It's location specific and time specific, but not online. Let's assume we're attending a regular lecture. This is a 10 week course, so let's assume the students attend 10 weeks of four hours of lectures. Having attended their lectures, we'll get them to attend some tutorials as well. This really is a mixture of production, where students are expected to present papers at their tutorials, and discussion. So we can set that up, and then we can see this doesn't add up to 100%. If we click on the Normalize button, it normalizes it to 100%. This isn't the same for all. It's more like a social experience with a tutor group size in some universities, let's say, of 10. The tutor is present, it's location specific and time specific, and if you're lucky, the tutor will give you some feedback. As I said, this is a 10 week course, so let's assume each student attends tutorials for two hours a week. Now let's have the students preparing some essays. This is mainly production. but it is personalised. The tutor isn't present, there's no real student interaction, but there is student feedback from the tutor who's marking their essay. Let's assume that over this 10 week course that there are three essays expected, so there are three weeks, and students are expected to spend approximately 10 hours preparing and writing each essay. Finally, let's have students attend an exam. This is mainly production, with a little bit of practice. This is personalised, because hopefully the student will get feedback on their exam score. Let me normalise this and go on to the next step. We do get tutor feedback, it is location specific and time specific. This doesn't happen every week. So let's assume this happens on a non-weekly basis and students are expected to spend 20 hours preparing and taking the exam. So that gives us our course. Let's see what this looks like. So here we can see the number of student hours that we entered earlier and we're expecting students to spend 50 hours in self-regulated learning. Here we can see what kind of learning at types the students would expect to encounter during the course. It's mostly production, but the next most likely activity is that of acquisition and discussion or practice. The learning experiences are divided between things that are personalised, social and same for all. So what would happen if we change some of these characteristics of one of these teaching and learning activities? Let's say really the tutorial was more about practicing presenting your materials or your essay to your classmates. So let's just change that. As we change it, you should be able to see that the pie chart on the right hand side varies according to the sliders that we're changing on the left here. Let me normalize this and accept. We can do the same with exams. Let's say exams aren't really about production, they're also a little bit more about practice. Let's normalize that and click on OK. So we can see how by changing the characteristics of the teaching and learning activity in terms of their learning types and learning experiences, we can change the values here in the pie chart. 